In this section, we will implement Remember Me functionality for our web application. But first, let's take a look at the problem. Each time a user tries to visit our system, they will have to log in, which is not ideal. Remember Me solves that problem. In simple terms, it is a convenient mechanism that remembers the authentication of the user next time they visit our application, so that they don't have to log in again. More technically, the authenticated principle is remembered across sessions. Spring Security has two implementations of Remember Me. The more common one is storing the Remember Me token in a cookie. And this is what we will be implementing in the first video. In the latter part of the chapter, we will implement the alternative Remember Me mechanism, which uses persistence to store these tokens. And finally, we will understand the details of both of these Remember Me mechanisms in Spring, and we will discuss the pros and cons of each one. In order to use the Remember Me functionality from Spring Security, we will not need to pull in any new Maven dependencies. Spring Security Web is all that we need, and this has already been defined. So now we'll need to see how the application behaves when the session times out and the user will have to log in again. So we'll go to our WebXML and we will define the session timeout. And we do this by defining the session config element and we are setting the session timeout to one minute. So let's enable this and let's move forward to the web security configuration. So in here, all that we need to do is use the rich namespace support, add the remember me element to activate remember me functionality and provide a unique key for the application. This can be anything and we're using here a simple my app key string. We will finish up by adding Remember Me to the login form. So all we need to do is add this new input of type checkbox mapping to Spring Security Remember Me with value true. So let's uncomment this and restart the server. And now we should be able to see the Remember Me checkbox on the login form. Okay, let's log in with admin1 without checking Remember Me and let's see how the session expiration behaves. So we'll have to wait for a full minute. And now that a minute has passed and the session has actually expired, we should be redirected to login when we refresh the page. And we are. The session expiration meant that we were redirected to login because the Remember Me was not checked. So let's log in with admin, but this time check Remember Me. Another minute has passed, so the session has expired again. But this time, when we refresh the page, the Remember Me functionality should keep us logged in. And it does. Refreshing the page keeps the user logged into the application. At this point, we are able to set up a basic but working version of the Remember Me functionality for a standard Spring Security web application. 